Hey y'all, so my bad. Um, okay, so following up with that video that I just posted because I ran out of time, I almost forgot too. So she was also telling me that she goes over the divorce papers and she goes through certain things and tells them what to do. And I was saying to myself, this, I, I just couldn't believe how proud she was but I sense that this woman really feels like she is just the road of recovery for him that she's his messiah you know what I'm saying like she she's she's gonna save this man from the woman that he's been married to for the last 20 years so I asked her this question. Oh, and I hope my phone's not messing up, y'all, because Sefi got a hold to it. I gotta get a new one. But I asked her this question. I said, well, I think I want me some of this. Mommy gonna see if I can get my baby some yash brooms. Yeah, so I asked her this question. I said, how long you been knowing him? Because I'm thinking to myself, if he known her for 20 years, how long you been knowing him? Y'all, she said 15 years. So think about it, ladies and gentlemen. 15 years you've been knowing this man, meddling around all in his business, being his so-called conscious or whatever you want to call it, all up in his ear, down in his daggone wife for 15 years. And the wife has been married to her husband for 20 years. That lets you know that if they had any issues she had a lot of that to deal with because she was coaching him. I don't know, you know, I, 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 you know what, I'll never forget this, but years ago, uh, me and my husband, we went out, and I'll never forget, I seen it, it was a guy, this before me and my husband um, really got serious, and he showed me a group of men, it was a guy, a random guy on the street, this guy was very um, intelligent, black guy. And he said, you see those guys over there? It was a group of guys just, just with each other, hanging with each other. He said, never date, no, never be with anybody that running, running packs. They running, they, it's like they wolves. You need a man that's going to stand on his own. Hello? Yes, can I get, do you guys have a, um, a decaf iced coffee? Medium. Um, don't you have flavors? Can I get a caramel? No, instead of caramel, give me French vanilla. Um, yeah, you can add a little. No cream. Yeah, you can add some of it. As I guess so. It, Well then, can you put a little whipped cream in it? Yes, and then can I get some hash browns, please? Let's see, let's see. Nope, that will be all. Okay, thank you. Okay, my iced coffee is 99 cents. Okay, cool. They, they run in a special. I'm trying to see. Can I get my special? So, anyway, y'all. Yeah. What you doing, sweets? What's my baby doing today? You can't get out of that, Sephis. Yeah, so, anyway. There you go. Hello. Okay, that's perfect. Yeah, so anyway, that really pissed me off about that. And I'm thinking to myself, like, wow. When she said, I go through all of the divorce papers. I look through everything. Thank you. I look through everything. I make sure that everything is good. I tell him what he needs to do with the kids. And I was thinking to myself, like, that's petty, man. That's, that is so petty. And a lot of these people, that's what they do. They listen to their girlfriends. They listen to their boyfriends, parents. People that ain't got nothing. Like, like for instance, this is not funny. 
this is not funny but one of my good friends um her husband suffered from a, a mental illness thank you her husband um suffered from a mental illness right and she, she said she remember long years ago um she was telling her husband was fussing at her and told her i want you to give me my money or give me some money and she knew that he was gonna go out and do the wrong thing so she went to proceed to tell her mother-in-law and her mother-in-law said if you don't give him that money he gonna beat your ass do you know recently she called me on the phone and he just spazzed out and beat his own mother and I said, wow. And she was the same one back in the day acting like that. It always comes back on them. And now she regrets. She regrets coming in between the relationship of her son and, and her daughter-in-law. Because she really believes that her daughter-in-law could have um, had her son in a stable place pretty much. Not saying at all. You know, when people are dealing with different problems, you know, Sometimes it's God saying, I don't want y'all to be together. But when people intervene and come in between, what you're doing is you're, mess you're messing up the, the security for that other person. Because people get, people get old and they change. You see what I'm saying? Here, see, you like this. This is pretty delicious. Try some. Mmm. Symphony is a very particular child. She doesn't just eat anything. Yeah, so... So anyway, so yeah, so my friend called me and told me the brother, she seen her old, her ex-brother-in-law, brother-in-law, whatever you want to call it. And he said, yeah, her husband put his hands on his mother. I said, wow, wow. And so remember, and remember back in the day, her mother-in-law always was meddling in their stuff. Now you're dealing with his issues and you wish that his wife would be there to deal with it. But you coached them into this and you was always meddling around in their marriage. It's the same thing too. I know someone that knew that a man was married and she decided to have sex and proceeded in a relationship with this married man, right? So she ended up getting knocked up. She basically told the man he tried to run back home out of state. And she told him, I know where you stay. I know this. I know that. Woo, woo, woo. He had to pay child support. She helped this man into a divorce with his wife. And she, I think they had two boys. But she helped this man take away her only child. I mean, when he took away the baby, I think the baby was like maybe a month from the mother. Well, guess what? He ended up getting remarried and now he going after her child that she had. And they're not even together. The whole time she was causing destruction to somebody else's household. And now it's coming back on her. And for some odd reason, she has this thing where she's dating married men. Now that ain't my folks or anything like that or my friend. You know, I heard of this person. But I said to myself, and I've seen this person, but I said to myself, Woo! Also, too, I know a dear loved one who just got out of a five-year relationship with a man who was already married. But then when we got to talking, because I remember him when we were back in the day. But when we got to rapping, I said, wait a minute. Didn't you leave him the first time when you found out he was married? Was he divorced then? No. But he was married. Yeah, so you, you was there when he went through the divorce. So he left his wife for you. And now he left you for somebody else. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If he offends his wife, the first marriage, nine times out of ten, boo, it ain't going to work with you. That's why when a man would say divorced or used to be married or I'm facing a divorce, I don't talk to my wife, honey, you look like the invisible man to me. But anyway, going back to what I'm, I was talking about, you need to... If, if you know your husband, nine times out of ten, when stuff is going wrong, it's a side piece that's whispering in their ears. And it's a demon that's using them. You know your wife. When things start going, whatever, hey, what, nine times out of ten, there's somebody whispering in their ear. And it doesn't always have to be another person that's trying to have relations with them. It could be family members. Some people, they just really, they want that control. 
They want, like with my situation, my father-in-law wants that control over my husband. It's ridiculous how much control he wants. But like I said, at the end of the day, I know for a fact that he's going to, he's already probably already regretting it. But I know he's going to regret that. Because he's getting old, man. And I know my husband, and I know his strengths, and I know his weaknesses. And it was times I had to make my husband go see his parents, go visit his parents, or speak to his parents. So when they get up in age and in the senior citizen home, I doubt he would be up there visiting them. They already up there. But going back to people don't people don't know you don't know what this woman put up with for the last umpteen years and now here you think you coming like you saving somebody that's just like with that woman who knew that this man was married and you still decided to have a baby now he done went ahead and took his first wife her only baby girl and now he going after yours he going after you and he not gonna show you any mercy because he didn't show his wife any mercy anyway Y'all just make sure y'all take heed and, you know, have wise counsel. Have wise counsel. Because I'm telling you, this this um divorce demon is out here, honey. He like, oh, this newlywed got married. <laughs> I'm going to waltz right on in there. The other day when me and my girls went out on that trip, one of the guys, it was so, I, it, I was like, really like, wow, his, his freaking... His father divorced his mother after all of these years and left her for a man. What does that tell you? Crazy. 